A few moments later What's up YouTube? It's What's up YouTube? Um <laughs> Okay, this is harder than I thought Hey guys, welcome back to my channel If you're new here, hey, I'm Anastasia and for today's video, I will be giving you guys more insight on why I chose cybersecurity as mate. Why I chose cybersecurity as my major, as well as tips for those who are interested in cybersecurity, how I got started, what influenced me, and what exactly you need to take course wise. So let's get into the video. So the first question is, what is cybersecurity? Basically, cybersecurity is the art of protecting data, networks, and devices from cyber criminals and digital attacks. With the Internet of Things, there are more devices than there are people in this world. Think of it this way. For example, let's say you were 15 years old and you had an iPhone 7 Plus. And when you were 16, you upgraded to the iPhone 8 Plus and then so on and so forth. Think of all of those devices total up together. Imagine that for each person. <laughs> eventually there's going to be more devices than there are people because of that hackers are becoming more innovative with the way that they are handling their crimes which makes it more easier for them to commit their crimes that is why cybersecurity is becoming very important especially in today's society yeah so question number two how did i choose my major and what exactly influenced me to do cybersecurity I'll try to make this story a little bit brief, but I was a business major going into Augusta University. I thought that that's exactly what I wanted to do, but before I got to the school, I decided to do a little bit more research, especially since, you know, Augusta University is one of the four research institutions in the state of Georgia. Their School of Computer and Cyber Sciences is fairly new. They launched it back in 2017. Knowing that Augusta University was a medical college of Georgia, I decided to do more research on what exactly cybersecurity was because I never heard much about cybersecurity before coming into college, which makes sense a point that I'll make later on. I decided to do more research on cybersecurity. I ended up finding a lot of stuff that not only interests me, but also shocked me at the same time. What I actually found very interesting about cybersecurity while doing my research is that most commonly cybersecurity specialists are predominantly white, predominantly male. The percentage of blacks who are a part of the cybersecurity field is very, very, very low. Aww. It is about 7.6% if I'm correct. And I was really shocked by that, especially since after doing my research, learning more about what cybersecurity is, I was like, this is so interesting. Like, why wouldn't anybody just wanna take this opportunity to participate in this field, especially with how technology is evolving nowadays. I just feel like this field is just so necessary. Like this is something that's going to be crucial in the years to come to see that there aren't that many people like me especially women the percentage for women is very low so that just made it more interesting to me and made me want to actually look into things more as far as you know being a part of cybersecurity. as i was doing my research i came across this youtuber i will insert her name right here in the video i watched her video on 10 reasons why you should join like the cybersecurity field and after i watched her video i kid y'all not i knew that this was what I wanted to do. She was the only African American person that I saw on YouTube who was a cybersecurity specialist. Um, she's a cybersecurity engineer. She was really like almost the only person that I saw who looked like me who I could relate to as far as you know being a part of that field and that just made me even more motivated. This field is so amazing. It has so many opportunities. Cyber is so broad and I just feel like I want to see more of our beautiful black kings and queens and people of color here participating in this amazing field. Like there's so many opportunities in cybersecurity. Sorry about that y'all. 
there's just so many opportunities in cybersecurity to just not take advantage of. After seeing that and learning about those statistics, I was like, this is what I want to do. I find this field so interesting and can't wait to be able to show other people how interesting this field is and pave the way for other people who are contemplating whether or not they want to do cybersecurity. So that's a little bit about why I chose cybersecurity. Sorry about that, y'all. The next question is, how is cybersecurity useful and why is it important? So I'll probably just start off with why cybersecurity is very important. Cybersecurity is very important because at the rate that technology is evolving, that puts more companies and industries at risk for cyber attacks. For example, what exactly is going on right now in real time with the Colonial Pipeline attack, um, the meatpacking company attack, as well as recently the McDonald's attack in Asia, uh, they had a breach. So a lot of companies nowadays are experiencing the cyber attacks with the cyber criminals who are holding their data hostage and making them pay a ransom. Which if you don't know what that is, a ransom is basically like money. Money talks! That they have to pay in order for the criminals to give them their data back or leave them alone. Both the Colonial Pipeline company and the meatpacking company ended up paying those cyber criminals ransoms in cryptocurrency. If you don't know what that is, cryptocurrency is Bitcoin or I don't really know the exact terminology for that. They ended up paying those ransoms in cryptocurrency so they can't trace it back, which is, you know, clever. But not very good for you know those companies and the future of businesses so the total damages to recover data and fines that are associated with cyber attacks can have a very drastic impact on companies especially if they cannot afford to do those things and get their data back like pay a ransom or you know things like that which is going to cause the companies to have to let go of some of their employees their executives associates they couldn't handle the cost those are reasons why cybersecurity is very important it's coming up on the news recently and i just want a lot of people to realize you know like you're going to need people to protect your data and protect what you have going on and have a safe secure place for you know not only your clients but your customers everybody using firewalls isn't really gonna be a, a reliable source of security for your system so that is why cybersecurity is very important and useful. It helps people protect their data and it allows people to keep things safe and everything calm and secure. And that is something that I really, really like about cybersecurity and a lot of people, a lot of companies need to start updating their cybersecurity or if you don't have really well cybersecurity, definitely look into that. I highly suggest it. It's very, very, very important to have a really good cybersecurity team to back you up. The next question that I have is, what type of classes do you need to take for this major? For me personally at Augusta University, my freshman year, I took a lot of my prerequisite classes and I will be taking more prereqs in the fall. I will be getting into my major more my junior, senior year of college. So far for my cyber related courses, I had to take two programming courses, Python and C Sharp a inquiries class which was the dangers of social media and the internet and i love that class so much that class was so fun if you're interested in doing cybersecurity, you have to take two laboratory sciences i will be taking astrology and biology this upcoming school year and to those who are interested in doing cyber engineering you're gonna have to take more programming courses those courses whew, especially c sharp c sharp really took really did it for me. My advice would definitely be to study practice, you know, practice programming. Programming is something that you need to be consistently practicing or consistently attending tutoring. So those are things that are very detrimental to you doing very well. Out of both programming courses that I had to take, C-sharp was probably... <sighs> I'm sorry, it just hit me just now. C-sharp really took me out, y'all. I'm just gonna be real with you guys. C-sharp was very difficult. It was very hard. I found myself struggling. I didn't foresee myself passing the class. And that class, from what I've heard, that class is the class that 
causes people to change their majors. They they switch it up. They they switch their majors because that class is so difficult. Luckily, me being the person that I am, I always try to go out of my way to ask for help. I ended up finding two amazing tutors. I spent more time on that class than I did on any of my other classes, but my professor, he didn't really give us labs or homework or anything like that. Well, they weren't necessary. We didn't have to do that. We definitely had quizzes and tests in that class. The exams were 20% of our grade and our final was 40% of our grade. So we only took two tests and one final. So that already tells you that those are huge percentages of our grade. So that kind of made the stress even more intense. Don't be afraid to ask anybody for help. There are some really nice people that are willing to, you know, take time to help you. I met some really great people who took time out of their day to help me. Kenny and Sierra, if you're watching this, thank you guys so much. Y'all really, really helped me out. Don't be afraid to reach out and ask people for help, especially when it comes to programming. Everybody struggles with programming and I was struggling, y'all. I was, I was on the edge, okay? Done for, I was already slowly trying to give up. No, I'm just playing. I wasn't about to give up. But I definitely had to put my all into that class. Definitely had to practice and understand it. C-sharp isn't something that you could just get by. Like, you actually have to sit down and try to understand the information. That professor in particular, he made us write our code by hand. My Python professor, she let us use our computers to type our code. In fact, I think I'm going to show you guys my coding that I had to write by hand just so that you can get an idea of what exactly it is that I had to do for that class. So I just wanted to come on here and show y'all real quick. <laughs> I was sitting at an 89 like the entire semester up until finals. I ended up making like an 82 on my final and that brought my grade down from an 89 to an 86. At least I, you know, passed the class, yay. Spring semester, I will be taking more classes geared towards my major. I will be taking scripting and automation. I heard you have to do like some Python in that class, so I definitely will need to be brushing up on my Python. Don't even want to get into that. I will be taking intro to web development and ethics and computer science. So, just in my schedule. The next question that I have is tips for first year cybersecurity majors. I highly suggest that you guys brush up, you know, download solo learn um somebody told me about that app you can just practice any type of programming language on there just start early i would say this python crash course um textbook that i had to use for my python class read up on that read up on the c sharp textbook both programming languages are two different things for python i got to write print hello world with the quotation marks and with c sharp it was console dial right line quotation marks print hello world so with the semicolon at the end y'all don't even get me started on that semicolon y'all you did not put that semicolon the code won't run it was just little itty bitty things that made python and c sharp significantly different i would say so definitely start learning early start practicing early for those things do dual enrollment in high school just to get your other prereqs out the way for cybersecurity, you have to take two math courses technically three because math for business and econ the professor that i chose for my statistics class he was literally so amazing look it down so easy to understand and i ended up passing my statistics and my algebra classes with a definitely use rate my professor y'all next thing that i want to touch on was job the pay is usually around ninety thousand to a hundred thousand a hundred sixty thousand dollars so it also depends on the state whatever state that you're working in with everything going on this salary is increasing because the demand for cybersecurity specialists is increasing as well okay, so. so we're back last couple things that i wanted to say so definitely keep that in mind if you're interested um you know the amount of skills that you need will also affect how much you get paid oh, is that the 20 for example if you have more coding experience that could also make you more wanted for the field lastly i wanted to touch on things that i wish that i knew not everybody's going to be willing to help you there will be people in your classes 
who don't really want to help tell you that they didn't understand something and end up getting 100% on all their assignments. Also, something that I wish that I knew was to study beforehand, practice over the summer, practice programming, practice Python, C Sharp, Java, whatever type of programming language that you're going to have to take. Make sure that you look at it beforehand. That's pretty much everything for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want more videos on my cybersecurity journey, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe below. See you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>